What is the purpose of a protein skimmer? A protein skimmer is a very versatile piece of reefing gear capable of removing waste, making the water visually clearer, reducing how many water changes you need to perform, raising your aquarium's pH, and even more than that. But let's start off with covering what the protein skimmer's primary job is for our reef tanks, and then we can go over some of those other really great advantages that a protein skimmer can provide. So with that said, a protein skimmer's primary purpose on a saltwater aquarium is to harness the power of foam fractionation to separate dissolved organic waste like fish poop, uneaten food, yellowing pigments, and suspended particulates from the water before it breaks down and places it in a collection cup so you can easily dispose of it. It does that job without needing any kind of filter media like you might expect to see used in other aquarium filters. Instead, a protein skimmer produces millions millions of teeny tiny bubbles within a reaction chamber, also called the skimmer body, and as those teeny bubbles travel up the body towards the neck of the skimmer, they attract hydrophilic organic substances, which includes that fish poop and uneaten food I mentioned earlier. Those bubbles collect and join together to become larger and larger until they reach the top of the protein skimmer and travel into the collection cup, depositing that waste that is attached to them, effectively removing it from the aquarium water. While it might sound like a complex and high-tech process, the fact of the matter is Mother Nature has been doing this for a very long time in the form of seafoam. And you've probably noticed it at local rivers, lakes, or beaches. Rushing water in the river or waves crashing against rocks or against the beach creates a mixture of air and water, and that separates the dissolved organics just like a protein skimmer does, creating that foam and removing waste from the water. A protein skimmer just does it intentionally in a controlled environment. Okay, so we now know a protein skimmer removes waste from the water. Awesome. Cleaner water sounds great, but what does that actually mean? By removing waste from the tank before it breaks down in the water, a protein skimmer effectively reduces nutrients like nitrate and phosphate, often meaning you won't need to do as many water changes because that waste isn't building up in the aquarium as quickly. A protein skimmer will also remove yellowing pigments from the water, and those pigments can make the water appear a bit murky and dull the beautiful colors of your fish and corals. But more importantly, yellowing pigments block out light, and a fairly significant amount at that, meaning your corals won't be getting as much par from your light fixture, so a protein skimmer also helps to make sure that your light is able to do its job effectively and that your corals are getting all of the light that you are providing them with. But filtering junk out of the water isn't a protein skimmer's only purpose, it's just the primary one, so what else can it do? A protein skimmer also provides copious amounts of gas exchange and oxygenation. All of those tiny bubbles swirling around inside of the skimmer body have way more surface area than the top of our aquariums does, meaning all of that extra surface area where water meets air provides much more opportunity for gas exchange. This also makes a protein skimmer a great tool for keeping your tank's pH up, especially when you pair it with a CO2 scrubber, and that can help increase and maintain coral growth. And we're not even done yet. A protein skimmer is also a really useful tool paired alongside other types of filtration methods. For example, biopellet reactors that utilize bacteria to remove nutrients also need a good way to remove all of that excess bacteria that ends up sloughing off of the biopellets. And a protein skimmer can do just that. Ozone generators also need a good way to get all of the ozone gas thoroughly mixed into the water, and protein skimmers are a fantastic way to do it, which is why a lot of protein skimmers out there are marketed as ozone ready with extra barb fittings so you can hook them up to an ozone generator. Once you start adding up all of these different benefits, even if you never use ozone or never use bio pellets, it's really easy to see why protein skimmers are such a beloved staple piece of reef infiltration. Now with that said, however, there are some important considerations that you should pay attention to when you're picking out and running a protein skimmer on your tank. There are lots of mistakes that reefers commonly make that will absolutely affect how your protein skimmer performs. The easiest way to avoid those mistakes is by learning from those of us who have already made them. And I'm not the only one. Brian and Randy have made plenty of mistakes too. Calling you guys out. Ha, what you gonna do about it? I'm in Canada. You can check out their video right here with 16 of those mistakes so that you can avoid them and make sure you get the right protein skimmer running the right way on your tank, getting all the benefits you can from it because they are awesome and I love them. And I'm gonna hug this one now. <laughs>